You're going to Lena's place as well? Oh. Oh, you, yeah, I'm going to Lena's place. Do you know which bell we have to ring? Yeah, it's, it's this one. Okay, great. When, you, when you're done, you must drink wine, right? Guys, um, seems like uh, you have both already met. Well, yeah. we, we just ran into each other downstairs. Um, but um, thank you very much for inviting me and see you a little oh. bit. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much. I am actually I'm glad that you came. Mm. Like, you know, your mom called me and she asked about you again. Why? Um, I don't know. Um, this girl shuts herself up in a room for a month. Doesn't pick up any calls and expects me to have the answers. No, I didn't mean that. Okay, look, I know, I know, but you have to call her. Like she's your mother, okay? But anyways, not to be a downer. Um, I have to go check on the food. Thank yeah. you so much for the wine. Um, can I ask you to just keep each other company for a little bit? Sure. And yeah, Martina, Elia, Elia, Martina. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh. Great. Thank now you know each other so yeah so all good i'll be back in a minute so just keep each other company okay do you need any help no it's fine i'll be just really quick Look at this. It's Kafka. Do you actually know anyone who, who reads this kind of stuff? It's... I mean, it's actually my book. I lent it to Leila, so... Okay, um... <laughs> okay, you know... Since when do you know Leila? We've known each other for a while now. Yeah. Uh, how about okay. you? I, I met her at my at my sister I was gonna say wedding um, at my sister's party, yeah, um, not so long ago. Oh, and uh, is your sister come tonight? <laughs> my sister, she she is back in back in Spain with our family. You're from Spain? I, yeah. Well, I not exactly. I I used to live there. Um, my mom she's Spanish. Uh, my father. He's from Germany, that's why that's why I came back. Have you have you been to Spain or have you but I guess I kind of lived there but... Okay. And what is it you do? I work in the cafe with Leila. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, but I'm I'm also a painter, so a painter? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. How how's that? Sorry. It's not going so well right now. <laughs> I'm not been feeling so inspired lately. You know, the cold doesn't really help. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's uh, fair enough. The cold is not a friend here in Germany. Yeah, no. <laughs> is, is that why you don't go out anymore? Or uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Who made this? What about you? That's a cultural Did you get paid for it? Okay, okay, everyone, everyone, sorry to interrupt, but I have an idea. We should play a little game because I just noticed that not everyone knows where we all are from. You know, we don't know each other that much. I thought we can just like 
play a little game, uh, maybe just go around the table, just say something about ourselves, about, I don't know, something from our lives. Oh my God. Like, no. yeah. That's the oldest game in the world. Oh, come on, I know, it's, I know it's a cliche for a dinner game, but come on, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, fun for you, Mrs. Gossip. No, not because of that, no. I think it's a good idea, honestly. So just, who's gonna start? Not me. Okay, Martina, you just start. Well, why me? Someone has to start. Let's go. Um, come on. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I can't think of anything. Think. Come on, Martina, think. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't, like, I can't I think mean, of anything. I, I, I can go. I can go. If, not. If, if that's okay. If, I don't know if you don't want to. No, that's, that's fine. Okay, then Elia starts, right? But you have to think of something interesting to say. Okay, so... Elia, give us a goss. Yeah. Um, it's not much of a goss. It's rather more just um, an experience and a memory from the past. Anyways, um, my my mom, she she used to take me to this to this park close to our house in Spain, it's where we used to live before we moved to Germany. And um, we would go there once a week. We could see the whole city from there. And she would always buy me an ice cream. Um, and yeah, we would just I don't know, uh, use this time to, to share stories and talk about our lives. And it was, I guess, kind of her way of spending more time with me. Um, after our conversations ended, we would always just sit there and um, watch the sun go down and the lights from the city turn on and and I remember we always used to say that it looked like the, the stars had fallen down to the ground. Um, yeah, it was, it was beautiful. And there you have it, something I've never told anyone before. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very, very touching. Very <laughs> touching. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for sharing that. All right. Um, thank you so, so much. Absolutely. Um, it was a lot of fun. I'm so glad you came. It was a really nice to hear. I mean, I wish you could stay longer, but I have another yeah. person coming in in another hour, you know. To get from the bar? Oh, sure. That's still going on? <laughs> I mean, it's going pretty well, too. Well, what did good. you tell me? Um, remember the time that she didn't pick up my calls? Okay. Anyways, um, we're off now. Have a great evening, have fun, be careful. See you in the goodbye, Marty. See you. Okay. Good night. Night. Be safe. Fuck! <laughs> no. What? Uh, yeah. It looks like my last train went 15 minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> what about the S-Bahn? S-Bahn? I live in Dresden. <laughs> Dresden? Uh, I, I don't live in Berlin. I just come here for work. Um. So, what are you gonna do now? I... I don't know. <laughs> um, you don't want to get another drink with me, no? I'm already... I... I can't. I should really get home. Come on. I'm barely ever here in Berlin. Uh, and if I come, I'm only here for a short time. You can show me a couple places. I don't know. I... I have some things to do. I should... I should probably go home. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Well, this... I, I guess I could stay with you for a while. Yeah? That, that would be great. I guess. Yeah. yeah? Okay, you wanna... I don't know. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So, you said you're from Spain too, right? I mean, not really, but 
I used to visit my mom there when I was younger. Okay. And now you don't visit anymore? Well, no, I, I guess I haven't really managed to get out of the city huh? that much since I moved here. I, I've been told that the city can be very addictive at times. Yeah, it can be overwhelming too. Yeah, but I think I guess no one would enjoy leaving this place, right? Why? What do you mean? What do I mean? The, the, the clubs, the parties, everything, everything that everyone always just talks about when you mention Berlin. Yeah, I guess so, but... I mean, I feel the city has much more to offer than just clubs and parties. Okay. Like, what? Well, I can show you. Sometimes, just sitting here, watching the trees and the birds, get, that gives me more peace than a room full of people. <laughs> you know, I also used to go to the park with my mom. In Spain. Yeah. She would bring some sandwiches for us and a book for her to read. Mm. And pencils and papers for me to draw. And we just spend the whole day there, in the world. It was so nice, and it was so cozy. It sounds like a nice memory. It is. I'd almost forgotten about it. I mean, until you shared the story at dinner. <laughs> but I don't get it. Why did you choose to tell that story? Um, I, <laughs> I, I, I have no clue. Um, I, I guess it just felt right. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's kind of the only part of the story that I do, like remembering. Why is that? <laughs> I used to love spending time with my mom. Um, I just didn't know the, the value of time with her. Um, One day she she asked me to to go to the park with her, um, but I didn't want to go uh, because I said I I wanted to hang out with friends, um, and and so I did. <laughs> Later that day, when I when I got home. Um, I was told that she had a car accident and um, <laughs> I, I rushed to the hospital and she couldn't speak <sighs> and I just, I never knew someone, <laughs> she, I never knew someone could, could look like that. And now every time I walk by that park, I just think that if I would have gone with her that day, I, she might still be alive. And um,
and that's that. Um, after that, me and my me and my father we, we moved back to back to Germany, and I, I yeah, I don't know. Um, I never told anyone this. <laughs> uh, It just came out of me. Metamorphosis by Kafka. You said you don't get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, what don't you get about it? Well, okay. I, I think it's just a weird story, right? Really. Weird? I mean, I mean, it's a guy who turns into a cockroach and starts talking about his feelings. So. And what's right in that? <laughs> Um, I don't know, I just think this whole everyone knows what's going on, yet no one really does. But yeah, well, that's exactly what the story is about, though. To be fair, I have to admit, I didn't finish reading the book. <laughs> so. Sometimes you feel a certain way and you can't really explain it to other people. I mean, no matter how hard you try, no one gets it but you. And it's really hard to explain, even to your family and the people closest to you. Just like in the book. Okay, you understand what's going on, but your family uh, doesn't at all? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess. I do know one thing for sure. Yeah? What's that? You really have been listening to me in the entire life. I was. Hmm. Is that where you get your inspiration from, is that? From books like Metamorphosis? Well, books, stories, People. Oh. Okay. Um, it's nearly time for my train. I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so.